In this video, we're going to take a look at how Google Drive is connected with Google Classroom. So when you first go to Classroom and create your first class, um, Google Drive will automatically create a folder for you and call it Classroom. And so um, I went ahead and color-coded that folder red just to uh, emphasize this. And let me go back to Classroom. So I created the class finding files for Google Classroom inside of Google Drive. And so I created that class, um, one of many. So to see that inside a drive, I would double click on the classroom folder. And then inside of the classroom folder, inside of Google Drive, it will have all the individual classes. Um, each class will have their own folder. And so there's the one that I uh, had just created uh, to demonstrate this, finding files for Google Classroom inside a drive. Um, again, I highlighted that red, so let's double click into that. Inside of the Google Drive Classroom folder, what you're going to find is there's going to be subfolders for every assignment that you create when you're in Google Classroom. And so you can see the assignment that I had created, finding files, I just named it the same thing. Um, if you go back to your Google Drive, um, you will see that. And this is where you can locate, when your students turn in work to you, this is where you can locate their individual files, whether it be docs, slides, sheets, um, forms, what, what have you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so then also, every time that you create um, an assignment inside a Google Classroom, um, what happens in Drive is that it actually goes in and creates a template. So again, you have to provide uh, something, you be attaching something in the drive. So every time you attach something um, from drive, for example, if I go in, create an assignment, um, and then I go in here to attach something inside of Google uh, or from my Google Drive, I can add that. And this is essentially a template, and we're just giving them the three viewing rights um, in regards to our students of what they can do with that file. Uh, but if you choose to do it that way, this will this template that you provide will be saved for each assignment. And so as you see, I go in here, and there's my template for finding files inside of Google Drive. Um, so really, you know, you want to focus as far as you know, the individual files that your kids are returning back to you. You want to view those inside a classroom uh, first and foremost. Um, but if you're having trouble locating where those um, the work that the kids are doing and sending back to you are going, um, chances are what you want to do is locate the classroom folder inside of your, your drive. So locate that folder. You might want to color code it as well. Locate the class you're talking uh, or you're wanting to find information about or files in that pertain to it. And then um, each assignment that you create will have its own individual folder um, as well as templates if you choose to add um, a template as well. So hopefully this clears up any confusion you might have in regards to finding the return work uh, from your students.